I hear it all the time from people. All you do is write about the Mets. Really? The most expensive team in history. Perhaps the biggest flop of all time. Guess what? They're going to get written about. They're going to get written about a lot. And I know if you're a fan of the team, you might not like it. Well, too bad. I'm not here to be your cheerleader and your pom-pom squad. JV and Scherzer, they're complicated. Same reason as Goldschmidt and Arenado for starters, in that they have full no trade clauses. They also have complicated contracts. Scherzer has an opt-out for next year. If he opts in, it's $43.33 million. Verlander has a conditional player option for 2025. That's for $35 million. It kicks in if he pitches next year 140 innings. So not only is there a lot of money on the books this year, about $14 million each when the deadline hits, there's money in the future, potentially. That would have to be accounted for in any trade discussion. Now, the one thing that gives the Mets a huge advantage is Steve Cohen's wallet. 